He created racist advertisements for pesticide. Some of Dr. Susie's earliest paid work was extremely controversial by today's standards. It's bad enough that he was shilling for the oil and pesticide industries, which are now understood to be some of the most environmentally damaging industries on Earth. However, several of the ads he drew were also quite racist, including ads for flip pesticide that featured awful caricatures of black people. In most cases, the racism had little to do with the product itself and seemed to be added solely for a horrid attempt at humor. Seuss was obsessed with creating an erotic cartoon book, but it flopped. Seuss found the majority of his success in writing children's books, but at one point in his career, he thought his talents would be better suited to the art of erotic storytelling. When Seuss joined with Random House Publishing in 1939, he did so under the condition that they allow him to publish an adult book that he had been working on for a while. The result was The Seven Lady Godivas. The book was a total disaster, in part because Seuss's idea of eroticism was to draw women exactly like he drew characters in his children's books. He couldn't figure out where he had gone wrong. The good doctor even opined, attempted to draw the sexiest babes I could, but they came out looking absurd. Seuss picked up his pseudonym after being fired from a writing job for drinking during Prohibition. Seuss picked up his pseudonym after being fired from a writing job for drinking during Prohibition. Seuss actually hated children. His wife ultimately took her own life over Seuss's adultery, and her suicide letter is heartbreaking. His wife ultimately took her own life over Seuss's adultery, and her suicide letter is heartbreaking. Seuss cheated on his wife while she was seriously ill. Seuss made a habit of creating racist cartoons. Seuss made a habit of creating racist cartoons. Seuss was hired to create offensive anti-Japanese propaganda during the Second World War. Seuss was hired to create offensive anti-Japanese propaganda during the Second World War. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.